Welcome back to KT and Prime. Let's go to that story that has been stirring things again inside the Coalition for Reforms and Democracy Code today. Now, Code's Wiper Party leaders led by Chairman David Musila are demanding that the opposition names its flag bearer in the next 30 days. Musila, who made the remarks in the presence of all the three Code principles, said supporters are tired of seeing them traversing the country together and what they want to see now is who will be their flag bearer. He is Katian's Duncan Haimba. The three opposition chiefs who are here for the launch of the Wiper Party leader Kalonzo Msioka's website. But it appears his party members, led by their chairman, Senator Musila, knew when to strike, putting coalition leaders on the spot. Our people want to know who is our presidential candidate for 2017. And to ensure his message was home, he took the bulls by their horns. We have had enough of this going together, dancing. Now, everyone has declared his uh, candidature. We want as quickly as possible, as soon as possible, latest August this year. We want to know who is going to be the presidential candidate for court. Let us bite the bullet. The principals chose to downplay the political undercurrents as sources disclose that WIPA members are keen on ensuring Kalonzo Msioka runs for presidency in the 2017 general election. Sometimes it's easy to say, bite the bullet. Bite the bullet. Somebody will ask, where is the bullet? <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, at the end of the day, matters not who amongst us is the presidential flag bearer. I want to ask our followers, Kenyans, to look at the Kenyan dream, not as Kalonzo, Raila, Wetangula. The three of us have chosen to stay and hold it together. We shall be able to overcome anything that is standing in our way as an impediment. The opposition supremos instead chose to address the need for the coalition to remain together as they discussed what they called politics of betrayal in the country. This betrayal has been all the times. We were betrayed over the MOU, which we signed in a room somewhere in the Nairobi, Nairobi club. And then later on when we said, let us now implement this MOU, we were told, oh, that thing is not even worth the paper on which it is written. That a few people went and locked themselves in a room at a hotel in town and then try to, to mortgage the future of Kenya, uh, that will not happen. And now we became like criminals who had cornered some people to sign the name of you. I stood with Kebaki and Brother Raila has referred to that. Senator Musila, if Ambassador Fay was here, we remember, and others, and what the promise was. In fact, wherever I went in many parts of this country, some people who could not pronounce my name well would say Karonjo, right? 2012 Niwewe. <laughs> Brother Ruto, better watch out. <laughs> we must be realistic. As they warned Deputy President William Ruto to read the writings on the wall. Ask what happened, and it's a little bit a long chain of betrayals. Somebody said, a tree which a monkey cannot climb, a baboon cannot even attempt. The opposition leaders maintain they'll stand by Machako Senator Johnson Mudama, who is facing hate speech charges. Mudama's homecoming rally is set for this Saturday. Duncan Hemba, KTN News.